Hi, this is Dr. Chen. Thank you for visiting the, our website. Today, I'd like to tell you how La Jolla Center for Holistic Dentistry, how our office treat our patient. Okay, the foremost we treat is patient as our own family with utmost compassion and integrity. That's the most important. Then mercury toxicity is the common issue in most people. Before we remove mercury filling, we like to do tests to measure how much is body burden. The three tests we do is that hair analysis test, urine mercury challenge test, heavy metal burden, fecal metal test. And usually, I, most of the time, I do fecal metal test. The reason is that it's the safest one and show the current. Hair analysis usually takes 60 days for the toxin deposit in the hair. And urine mercury challenge usually can throw people out of the way. It, it, it challenge your, your, your body to release mercury. Sometimes down a lot of mercury in the body at one time, that can be dangerous. And then, of course, we remove mercury feeding on the mouse. And that's talking about mercury-free and safe removing. That's using safe mercury removal protocol. That means that cover rubber dam and use extra protection, a lot of water, suction very strong, and put uh, sterile oxygen for the patient to breathe, cover the nose so all the mercury vapor don't fly over the air, it re inhale back to the body. And after that, you have to take some supplement and also you can say a heavy metal chelation agent to take the body, release the heavy metal particular mercury out of your body. And that is pretty individualized because everybody is different. Besides that, we also give patients supplement that before mercury feeling, during and after that to protect body to take the extra load of the mercury vapor release from the mercury feeling. And we also do individual, yeah, then after removal mercury feeling, you have to decide what kind of dental material to use. That on that, usually we use very biocompatible uh, material, but for certain people, it's a specific issue, we need to do some tests to choose the most compatible to that person. That can do the blood test or can do muscle testing and genetic testing. Then my specialty is ozone therapy. I have been practicing for this dentistry for 10 plus years and I'm probably one of the dentists in Southern California or if among the few dentists doing ozone therapy and I've been doing ozone therapy for plus four or five years and get very success very good successful rate and usually pretty predictable in um, quite a few issues. Like for decay, usually do no shot, no drilling, and no pain for treat the decay. Kids love that. But in case of some cavity pretty deep, that, that's another situation. Also, we can prevent do canal treatment almost like 95% if the tooth just started, have symptomatic, and dentist and the dentist want to do the canal, that usually has highly, highly success rate. But if the infection go down to the dew and go penetrate from the gum as abscess already, that is very, very um, compromised situation. Usually require root canal plus ozone treatment at the same time. And ozone use, you also very good at treated root canal infected tooth. That's I mean tooth already down the canal and however still not right and get infection. Also very good at the uh, gum infection. You know, on the website has a um, good case report. You can go to check that. Also we have a patient testimonial about the gum, serious gum infection treated by the ozone. Then we're talking about 
do metal free zirconium dental implant. Dental implant is nothing new in the dentistry. Titanium implant used that more than 50 years old. Zirconia implant not new at all too, but relatively new. It's very new in the United States, just approved by FDA last year. And what's good about zirconia implant is zirconia implant doesn't it, it, first, zirconia implant is, is a zirconia dioxide, it's not metal. Second, it's a titanium implant. The problem is that it tends to uh, deposit titanium dioxide on the adjacent, adjacent bone. Therefore, some multiple chemical sensitivity patient or chemi chemical sensitive patient can be a problem. Okay, for gum infection, we first like to use DNA sensitivity test to detect how many micro, how many bacteria in the mouse. Then we have the either use laser or ozone therapy to treat the gum infection that I mentioned earlier in the ozone therapy. Okay, that, and, um, okay, for people come to me, I you for any patient, I usually suggest to take the final functional blood analysis that has the Brush sugar, lipid panel, metabolic panel, thyroid, adrenal panel. Just give me an overall picture of where your health is. And because this is a functional range, it's pretty narrow. It's not just like ordinary laboratory tests you can detect your chronic issue in the very early stage. And from that, we can choose an individualized supplement to help you get back to homeostasis pretty quick. The last, we do the oral systemic balance. This is a pretty amazing dental appliance. Basically, I can just say it's help swallowing, speaking, and breathing. And it can help sleep apnea, TMJ problem, and structure imbalance. But it also has miraculous systemic benefit. I cannot claim it. It was restricted by FDA, but I have tremendous information on my website. I hope this information help you understand how we treat our patient. And if you have more questions and any further issue you'd like to discuss, please welcome to call us. We are here to help you. Thank you.